walking up to the garden from the house. There we go. Big box there, big box to show you. I was going to drive, but I thought, no, I'll just, just walk up. Glorious afternoon. <sighs> Should have got the car. Right, I'm going to put that water straight on for the greenhouse. And it's not really for the tomato plants, it's more for my little seedlings. Because I missed yesterday as well. Right, come on, let's have a look in. Right. Get this busy box in. I'll also give some water to them, I think, as well. See, it's bloody hot. Someone was mentioning that curl leaves curling up are a little bit stressed, but there's nothing you can do, do you know what I mean, when it gets cooking on gas. Oh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Look at that salad. What I'm going to do is pick out one of them salad. You know, that's going to be one of these salads. God, that's come on so quick. And just use what's in one of them containers and like replant it into one of these size pots. Right, oh, tomatoes are coming there. Them, what they're called? Oh, I forget, let's have a look. Sun sugar. Right, there we go, a bit like that sun gold ones. Oh, look at that big bell tomato ones. Starting to go, starting to turn. I still haven't wired up them. I'm probably, I think I need to do a little bit clippering in here as well as you can see I did a little bit more just to tidy them up but it's all right it's all right see moths are in it means the bloody cutworms might be coming in so what's in this box I, say, I hear you say have I got anything well I'll show you it was a bit of a bargain there's a few people mentioned it on in the comments and I got a little nod from Steve a little link it's always good to have a link and straight away I went right that's for me that puppy's for me let's just show you oh, I think I'll use oh god it's sweltering in here <laughs> man and yet look at them jeans on it was re not rainy but it was cloudy damp and everything this morning right let's Get this cut open. Oh. So I got it from Patch. So look at what I've got. Now the second hand, and there's, I think there's 20. I don't know if you can see, but these are, let's pull it out of there. These are them trees again and they're in that size what's that three oh i don't want it to fall over so so there's a little bit smashed there but i think i paid maybe 30 quid for 20. man look at that you see bosh it's almost like i'm a commercial grower so hopefully this will keep us going. <laughs> so I've just made up two little things. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to sow now. And I've got them there. I need to give them, them a little bit of water. But I've just watered in here. And I need to... You know, some things are on your mind. I'm going to... I've got to be bloody careful. I'm going to clip me tomato plants back. And I'm just going to do four. Probably the yellow pear just take all bottom leaves off just thin them out a good I'll just reach over here like do a nice thin of them because it's just starting to like be all leaves and it's the last thing you want but the last thing i want is to cut off trusses or my finger and i'm known for that <laughs> for both so you can see they're just a lot of green on there and I just want to get get in there and get a little bit thinned out so just move it over I just need to be so careful because you know what I'm bloody like 
it's going to start here. See, there's like suckers going up. I get too cocky and confident. See it? Bloody hell, man. I, uh, I went and done the whole row there when I was started. So what I've noticed was is those yellow pear, they've got a nice like a nice like truss size on them. And actually those sun sugar ones. So they're just starting these yellow pears, just starting to come into their own. And then the big the ones that Johnny did, the grafted ones, there's only five left there now. But that far one over there actually should pinch and take all this rubbish up as well. You know, there's some nice ones if they just produce. Oh, I should. Don't pull it on. You know, if they just do them four or five, I'd be happy with that plant. There's another truss coming up there, but. That's where the money is on that one. These are a nice, just a nice size. You know, if they come out, they'll be lovely. So, yeah, I'm chuffed a bit with this shape, mind you. Like, like a bell, Bellamonte, I think they're called. Oh, cooking, cooking. Someone has never heard that saying before, cooking on gas. Oh. Man. Right, so I'll clean this little mess up here. Just if you're thinking I'm kind of scalping, you like, oh, it, there is enough, you know, for the photo synthesis <laughs> to carry on. But I want to kind of now just bang all the, the stuff into the into the fruit and not the leaves. You know, I'm, I'm kind of going to start lopping the top off the next day or two as well. And then I've just got all that to hopefully just ripen up. And then you can see it just looks, you know, there's, I mean, there's some great trusses on these brads. Have you seen that? It's funny enough. I've never had this one. I think this is a different variety of brad, but I got it came in the same kind of seed packet. These are like a different, that's going almost like a lighter green. So I'm actually really pleased. I think I've only got the one, which is a shame, but anyway. Right. It's bizarre that. Wait on, just like that. Figure out sweaty. That it, it, this is the kind of thing that gets me, and it's a, it's a weird thing to get into the habit of. We're in the middle of like in all the fruit and all that, but just thinking ahead, and like I say, I've got the the salads to come. I'm gonna I watching young young Steve. I think he's actually a year. I'm gonna put that back on the year older than this. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm sorry. I'm using this wand to to water. And he's planting kale. Now, I plant, you know, like I love the Cabral Nero kale, that kind of type of kale. But that's all I've planted. Do you know what I mean? I'm just kind of stuck me way. So I'm going to just have a look what I've got in kale and plant some more and sow, sorry, sow some more in those two pots and then repot them on. But Steve, if you look on his last video, I'm there, you're there. Just like a whole variety. And I mean, we'll get to the same. Junction, do you know what I mean? It's like trying to get crops round, you know, like through the kind of window, the hungry gap kind of thing. That's what I've done that, the broccoli for there. I've had the I'm just, it's too fucking hot, man, in there. It's funny enough, I thought the day as well, I'll have to come up and shut the doors, you know what I mean? Keep a bit of the, the heat in. What I want to show you as well, and I'll just show you me little digit. Look at that bloody. That plant nearly died. 
Look at all the flowers coming on it. And the fruit. Look at that. That's enough. Oh, look at that. Oh, them, them reapers, Carolina reapers. If I can get seeds off them, we'll have a fun time giving some away. Right, oh, here's a thing. Is this, look at that. I noticed that the other day. That's something eating it, isn't it? Or is it just, what's happening there with that cucumber? Because I've got one up there as well. Now, see, I think that's not. I think I might need some water in that. I've been watering them anyways, but that looks a bit, I don't know if it's just a new and fattening out. That one seems all right, and they seem all right, but I think I'll top that up. I'm waffling again on I think it, I don't, I honestly, I swear I have like a set plan and a routine, right? Do this, do this, do this. Right, I'm going to water that while I do, if I don't forget, and then we'll come back to these seeds. And I haven't. So yeah, on, are you there? <laughs> I do this all day. I, uh, I haven't put any sun cream on it here. I've just had that five minutes water the garden outside. <laughs> it's so hot, I just wanted to cool down. Right, I'll get these out and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So if you remember, one of these seeds I said would be good to do like a cuttings from or take. Remember, I'm, oh, I'll just turn you around again, sorry. So this is going to be like a, it's a mixed salad seed and I'm just using it as like a cut and comb. Can you see? I don't know if you can see it with that light wait on. And just, you know, but what I want to do now is take one of these cells and replant them and just grow the cell on a bit more. That's this stage one. Mine, I'm chuffed I'm getting that. Them leaves done in there. Get them out. Oh, yeah. If I mark these jeans, you'll go crackers. So I think I'll take a middle one. Say that one. Now these haven't got much root, so it might all just break apart. But yeah. so I've no idea what any of these are. But they're a salad, and we've had them as like little cuttings. So hopefully. They're growing into something nice. That took way longer than what I thought, just to prick out them. And more as well, so I used two little module sizes up. So I want to just find out what's in the seed box, what kind of kale I've got. Oh. Spinach and kale's on the section here. I thought, I was, I was hoping I had some of this purple. Have I got any left? I've just got a Got a bloody <laughs> I kept that for empty seed. I think it's all gonna be just these are spinach kale. It's because I like the Sarah Ravens with you know the Caval Nero. That's spinach. Oh, I'm kinda screwed there, I think then. Oh kale. Oh, that might be that purple. A lot of spinach. That, I'm hoping, is... Where have I put the other kale? Right. I'm hoping it's that one. Systematic. Yes, I think it is. S-Y-M, S-Y-M. Oh, that's all. Some purple kale and some Caverel Nero. <laughs> the video was not ruined. <laughs> Bloody hell, man. Pot this out. Right, get these up. To get some more of this, just a few, but enough. Touch more water. Very hot days. Keen eyes would notice that I did two. Now I can't remember what the other one was for, to be honest. I just put them oh, disturbing the beds. So it and don't get it wrong, it is kind of hard and frustrating and everything. But I'm hoping, you know. Them onions are kind of going over now. Now they were my spring onions and I was going to do pickled onions with them, but I'm not sure. Now I might just for ease, just pick them all up. That's Daisy's better. I kind of touch that. I've got some more onions there, you know, and then the kind of, the, what do you call them? Banana shallots will come out as well. So hopefully 
there's space there to kind of put them in now ready for that hungry gap i think look after yourselves take good care